A new attempt tonight, the future of a large mural in San Francisco is now uncertain after someone defaced it in recent weeks. It was created more than 20 years ago to honor the AIDS crisis, and many of those artists have since died. KTV's Amber Lee live now for us in the city after talking to the nonprofit behind this project. Amber. Heather, we're in the Castro neighborhood across the street from the defaced mural. Now, supporters say it's a cultural landmark that needs to be restored and protected. And this is a very large mural that tells a story. There's so much history crammed in. This mural, Hope for the World Cure, at the corner of Market and 16th Streets in San Francisco, tells the stories behind the AIDS epidemic, remembering lives lost. This is like gay folk art. It's been here for 23 years. Time has faded its vibrancy. And in recent weeks, defaced by graffiti in large black letters. I was kind of horrified because I thought that there was a code among taggers that you don't tag over somebody else's mural. These photos illustrate what the mural looked like when it was created in 1998. 17 artists with art from the heart heels who were suffering from AIDS designed the mural and collaborated with Presida Eyes muralist. Here's some of the artists in front of their parts of the mural. Susan Cervantes oversaw the project. She tells me it was made possible through a grant, donations and volunteer work from dozens of artists. There was probably a couple of thousand hours that was put into it. Many of the artists have since died. She says the mural has been tagged before, but nothing this large. I was just stunned at how, you know, because we have gone a couple of times and taken the graffiti off of it at our own expense and time, but this was just too much. There is also a homeless encampment frequently at the mural. Cervantes says the mural was a gift to the community and it'll need its help to restore it. This is a cultural uh, asset to this, this neighborhood. It tells our story. And it tells the story when I was coming of age being gay. And to see that it's just in this state right now, really sad. This is our history. And I really would hope that we could be better stewards in the future. Presida Eyes muralists estimate it'll cost $50,000 to repair and restore the mural. Heather? All right, our Amber Lee reporting live for us tonight in San Francisco. Thank you, Amber.